everyone, welcome to my channel. I am Dory, I am a teacher of English and today's video is all about multiple choice in IELTS reading. So, first and foremost, read the instructions carefully. I know, I keep saying that, but it is important. Do not assume, just because it is a multiple choice task, that you are going to choose only one option. You may have to choose two correct options, so be careful about that. For example, if it is um, a four-option multiple choice task, then you're going to have to choose, for example, C, one correct option. But if it is more than four options, A, B, C, D, E, five options and more, then you're going to have to choose at least two correct options, in this case, for example, C and D. Okay, so read the instructions carefully so as for you to know what you're going to choose, okay? Secondly, it is very important for you to know that multiple choice questions follow the order of the text. So, the answer to the first question will be found first in the text, the answer to the, que to the second question will be found after that, and so on and so forth. This is very important for you and uh, it is very useful for you to remember that because if you miss a question and you find the answer to the next one, then you know more or less where in the text to search for it. Okay? Also, keep in mind that the questions may refer to a small part of the passage or maybe to a larger part of the passage. So, there is no rule on that. It could be anything. Sometimes a question may even refer to the text as a whole. Uh, it may be a question, for example, asking uh, for the opinion of the writer. This may be found. Uh, this is this is found usually in the end of the text. But you get the picture, okay? And now let's see a multiple choice task in detail. Okay, here we can see a four-option multiple choice task. One thing I want to stress here is the importance of underlining keywords. So, let's go to the first question, number 19. So, we read, One purpose of the photography seminar is to teach how. So, the first important word here is purpose. Do you see that? You will be looking for a purpose. This is important because in the text, lots of ideas may be mentioned, but do not get distracted. You are looking for the purpose. You are looking for the goal of the seminar. All right? So, as you can see, smart underlining is important. You don't have to underline everything, of course. There's no point in that. Just underline the words that will guide you and will help you. So, similarly, in question number 20, the next one, we will search for advice. We read the question. Renowned photographers from all over the world advise, advise participants on. And something, we don't know what uh, yet. So, what the photographers advise the participants? This is what it matters. We search for advice, that is, okay? They may say lots of things, but what is their advice? Now, moving on, as far as the options are concerned, be careful. Some of the options may use the same words as in the text, just in order to confuse you. So, be sure to read the entire sentence carefully and understand its meaning. Do not let the use of the words confuse you. Does it say the same thing in the text regarding meaning? Is it obvious? Then it is correct. If not, check it out further. For example, in question number 20, option C, the new digital camera equipment. We may find this exact same phrase in the text. It is, it is unlikely to be paraphrased anyway. But is that phrase used in terms of advice? This is what you should ask yourself in order to answer. This is what you should ask yourself in every question and in every task. But now we focus on multiple choice, okay? So, last but not least, when you choose a correct option, 
always make sure that you read the other options too and that you find proof that they are not correct. You will do that for the correct answer as well. You will always find justification for your answers. So do not rush into answering. Read all the options, okay? Now, this is a five option multiple choice task and you have to choose two correct answers. So you will follow the same strategy we just said. We need to search for two possible dangers. Look at that. I'm sorry. Which two of the following possible dangers? Okay, that minor space daily. So daily is important. Do not underestimate words like that. Daily is important because the text may refer to a danger that can occur a certain period of time only, uh, or once a year, or only during the winter, or only, only during the summer, etc., etc., whatever. So be careful when expressions of time are used in every text. Now, we want to search for Possible dangers that can happen daily, okay? Uh, so, then you read the options carefully. You underline keywords, as we said, and you go to the text uh, in order to answer. One of the reasons I do not focus on the text very much is because I want to show you the strategy no matter what the text is. If you follow this way of thinking, you can cope with any kind of text, no matter how tricky or how difficult it is. Um, it is the tasks and the questions that you care about, okay? And of course, we have analyzed all the strategies that we follow for the texts, uh, scanning and skimming, etc. in other videos, all right? Well, that's it for today. Always pay attention to paraphrasing in all tasks of IELTS. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter and Google+. I have added all three links down below. If you have any questions, I'll be more than glad to answer them. Just, just leave them down below in the comments section. Thank you very much for watching. Good luck with the exam.